Hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hi. Good evening, Shweta. How are you? I am fine. Thank you for asking. What about you, ma'am? I am good. I am good. Thank you. Is this your farewell session? This is yes, your last ma session. Yes. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Okay. How has your experience been? Has it been good? Yeah, it's wonderful, and I want to continue with clapping. Oh, happy to hear. Happy to hear. All right. Uh, Shweta, let me introduce myself. I'm Sheetal. I'm from Mysore. Can you please introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Shweta. I'm a homemaker, and I have been mm -hmm. working as a Hindi translator. So that's why oh. I can type both Hindi and English. And I want to improve my spoken English skills. That's why I have okay. joined Clapping Go sessions. Uh, now I am doing both the things. Uh, being at, uh, I am doing uh, my translation work as well as I have started a YouTube channel, um, oh, where I am sharing English-related content. That's great. Basic that's great. English content. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how long have you been doing this? It's been uh, one and a half year. Oh, that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And how has that helped? How has the process of sharing videos helped you? Starting six months, I have to involve a lot of things uh, to learn, like how to create video, how to create thumbnail. So YouTube related, still I am learning, ma'am. And um, But my heart, I want to become a fluent English speaker. So I am um, here <laughs> to take sessions from Clappingu. Okay, all right, wonderful. Do you teach students as well or is it just the sessions? Sorry, is it uh, just the videos that you upload? Uh, I just uh, share uh, basic vocabulary on my channel. Uh, I, because uh, starting okay. a channel was also a fearful, a fearful job for me because I never faced oh. a camera and all this. So it was a fearful <laughs> job. But uh, because it, it provides me freedom of time and uh, I can balance easily with, uh, my home, uh, my household works and I can manage my channel. So that's why I have chosen to become a, a YouTuber and as well as uh, become a translator. Well, I must say, I really appreciate your efforts to um, manage or have a wonderful work-life balance. And I can see that you have chosen only those professions which will allow you to do that. Well, yes, but then again, do you never, do, do you feel restricted at times? Yes, uh, in my previous uh, previous days, uh, I don't have courage to think about uh, even myself, uh, how my life is going on. I just devoted towards my family after my marriage. And it's been 23 years. Now I thought that, uh, okay, Shweta, where is your identity? Uh, what you have done in your life? Then I started educating myself. And English is uh, not a language, global language. It is still, ma'am. It will boost your confidence. It will uh, enhance your um, personality so i uh, i have chosen english uh, to learn that's great that's great all right and how many subscribers do you have on youtube channel uh, it's uh, right now it's uh, an uh, 800 near to 1k not that right. much ma'am uh, but no, it's, cool. uh, now YouTube that's has cool. become my part of my life. Till the death, okay. I will continue uploading my video. <laughs> I'm consistent, ma'am. Uh, large um, or big information, but I want to be consistent. Mm -hmm. and I want to uh, give um, good knowledge, means uh, accurate knowledge, whatever I know. So just I share vocabulary, means word meaning, that's basic vocabulary. That's a wonderful thought because I have encountered few students few channels actually we have seen few channels where students are um, advertising their classes as well and although they themselves are learners they're doing that so this is yes, wonderful yes. Yeah. And I want because to create motivational videos uh, through which I can also motivate ma'am. And in this way, I can yeah. practice my English speaking. And the more I will create video, the more yeah. uh, my fluency will improve. Um, and I love mo yes. motivation because motivational thoughts, um, rather than motivating others, I motivate myself. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I think you have gotten comfortable with the camera now, haven't you? Now, uh, now I am a little bit comfortable. 
but while talking with a tutor like you ma'am still i i feel nervousness because of oh, my no, 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 no. no please no uh, here here's the thing i want uh, no, i want to tell this to everybody who is struggling with this problem of just feeling under confident about a language it's just a language please consider english as a tool don't associate it with any kind of feeling as such whether it is shame or pride or anger or um, uh, discomfort anything for that matter do not associate the language with any kind of emotion it is just a language just like how i'm using this pen to write and i'm not necessarily attaching this with any emotions the same way i want you to use english as a tool to communicate that's it okay especially when i, I do mistake then uh, i feel nervousness uh, and that i it's know true. my heart i know i i have i did mistakes because uh, grammar rules i have learned lot of time but when uh, it comes to applying on the speaking i do uh, very silly mistakes like i know uh, with present uh, uh, with uh, third person singular number always use s and e mm-hmm. but while speaking mm-hmm. uh, i do mistake <laughs> like she yeah. go she it's goes okay. he it's goes yes uh, i know these rules um, but when it comes uh, i do mistake so these things i want to rectify ha okay. huh. we are here to help you don't worry don't worry um the topic of the day do would you like to speak about the topic of the day or do you want to speak about anything random the topic is bucket list yes yes ma'am would you like to speak about it yeah um, uh, please because i yeah please tell me about your bucket list bucket list is the What list is which uh, which in which we have um, we in which we listed our, our goals our experience which we want to um, experience before our death or uh, we, uh, the dream which we want to fulfill so i want to become healthy Uh, first thing and second thing i want to learn english uh, and and third thing i want to become ind- economically independent um, and i want to help someone uh, someone's um, and i want to make a difference in someone's life who who needs my help that's great these are wonderful thoughts i sincerely appreciate your ideas and i hope you achieve all the success that you desire all right here the there are some mistakes that i have noted down let me go okay. ahead and explain them i need to learn new skills i had to learn new skills you're talking about past isn't it you said that i after i started my youtube channel i had to learn new skills take session so this is give and take give take i give this pen somebody takes this one whereas when it comes to sessions or classes you use the word attend or conduct i am currently conducting the session you are attending the session okay so you will have to say attend session okay if you are the teacher you will be conducting if you are the student you are attending okay all right next one chosen chosen is wrong it is just chosen choose is your present tense c h o s e chose becomes your past tense chosen is your third form everyone choose okay everyone chooses because everyone is considered as singular har ek har ek banda so choose uh, sita chooses sita and rahul choose so if it is plural drop s if it is singular add s next one inconsistent inconsistent the opposite of the antonym of consistent is inconsistent not inconsistent inconsistent, inconsistent. Oh. instead of saying do mistakes 
either use make mistakes or commit mistakes either that or this okay economically independent is fine but you can use financially independent sounds better better okay here i'm going to give you some words now i want you to make sentences using that is that okay okay if i can <laughs> okay i'll help you it's okay it's absolutely fine if you go wrong anywhere here i have mentioned the word in the chat box it is historic 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 agra is a historic place very good scribble scribble scribble, scribble. um uh, teachers uh, feel uh, comfortable to uh, read scribble writing hmm very good very good. record um we should um, record Uh, we should record our uh, voice uh, uh, to become fluent in english or a voice record uh, it's a voice record and record is another thing um, uh, um, people generally keep record uh, of um, uh, in office in offices people uh, keep records keep a record of important documents or important it's important documents yeah important details. yes we do you record yourself in order to just understand your progress yes, apart from the classes yes ma'am i record um, that's great but i am not satisfied with the efforts i am doing i want to put more and more effort okay all right uh, recording is fine i think it's a simpler easier process i suggest writing writing yes yes So let's say you want to make a video anyways you are going to record yourself yes but instead of just practicing through videos you know recording and then deleting it again and doing rather than that why don't you just write oh. writing helps improve clarity your clarity you will gain a lot of clarity in your thought process so when you are ready with this one it's easier to record and also you don't have to multi uh, record yourself multiple times and you know of course you will have a number of videos in in your uh, drive it takes up all the space that's too much of a hassle isn't it but this is very easy convenient and a sure shot process it works pick any random topic let's say you have um, a chair in front of you write down five Uh, important points of five uses of a chair five ways you can use a chair you um let's say the weather is pretty pleasant that day write about the weather write about this class after this session you can go ahead and write the write up for the session saying today i attended a session with sheetal she mentioned that she's from mysore we discussed about youtube videos we spoke about bucket list something like that just five to 10 sentences that should be good enough even if you just write something like this she was she she was wearing a green colored dress that's it right. so when when you do this your attention to detail will improve the clarity improves and you will feel more confident because you've already written down which ones okay so that, that's a suggestion okay. and in so this way i can I, improve my um, Uh, spelling mistake and uh, grammar um, uh, uh, sentence uh, structure formation ah. yes yes of course because you have time ample amount of time to write a sentence rectify it maybe scratch it and write a new sentence come up with a better word so it's a slow process but a good one okay from onwards i at least one page i, I will try to continue writing yes yes that will be wonderful even if you start with five sentences it is it will be 